Hi, welcome and I hope you're doing well. If your Dell laptop is not taking the charge, there might be two things could have happened. One of them is the battery that is not taking the charge or holding the charge. Or the second option would be the DC jack. If your DC jack is broken, if you realize that it was dropped with the charger that was plugged in, or something that might have just yanked the charger and broke the DC jack, that is one of the reasons why the computer is not taking the charge. Well, obviously the DC jack is broken. So in this video, I will be changing out the DC jack for this Dell. Uh, that is the replacement DC jack here, and I'll be changing it out. All right, let's go ahead and identify the model here. So if you can see the model of this, I'll try to cover up the little sticker right there. Uh, if you can see the Dell is P75F. Hopefully you guys can see it. It's P75F. That is the Dell. And let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, there's some kind of information there. I try not to show. Apologize. Okay, that's much better. Get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, this is just a regular Phillips. Go ahead and remove the screws. The one on the top left corner does not come off. The one in the middle right top does not come off. And the one on the top right corner does not come off. Let's see the rest of other screws. Okay, the one in the middle, they do come off. One, two, looks like I have a missing screws here on the bottom center. So the rest of other screws, they do come off except the one on the top, there are three of them. Those screws do not come off. What about this bottom right? Okay, once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to pry open the back cover. What I like to do is just kind of stick it in at the very corner section. Uh, usually that is the weakest point. So let's go ahead and stick it underneath. Yeah, I got a little room here. Once the thing is popped open, I can <clears throat> just pretty much wiggle a little until the entire back cover get removed. Okay, once you have removed the back cover, you pretty much see the entire internal part of your laptop. At this given point, you might want to take a peek at the battery. Is your battery flat? It looks okay to you. So this battery here looks pretty flat. There's no lump. That's what I'm looking for. It's like a lumpy or like swollen battery. Then more likely the batteries have gone bad. But for my case, my battery does look pretty nice. So I don't think it's a battery cost, but I just checked the DC jack and looks like my DC jack is, uh, there's like some prong sticking out and plastic got snapped. So, so I'll be changing out the DC jack, making sure that was the, uh, the cause of it. And again, I want to take a, you know, it doesn't take much of your time, a minute or two, go ahead and dust out the fan if you want to have a better exhaust to disperse the heat. And this is where the CPU fan exhausting the heat off of your laptop. All right, the next step is to remove the three screws. We are trying to tackle down the hinge. That is the top right corner hinge. I wonder if you guys like me to zoom in a little bit. Okay, so that is the top right corner. I'm working on a hinge, so let's go to remove the three screws. And now you can push the hinge back a little bit and remove that one screw. That screw is holding down the DC jack. You want to slide the connector away from your body, so push it away from the body. And then just kind of follow along the cable and just remove it. If you're not sure where to buy the replacement part, uh, check out on that little. Here it says CN-02K7X2. That is the replacement part. If you're not sure where to find them, go ahead and check the link down description below. I will link it 
to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement part. Okay, so that is the brand new and that is the broken. You can see that the prong, the prong is sticking out on that side, right? The plastic is gone. Okay, so let's put it back in. We're going to have the screw to go back in it. And then this kind of go underneath. It was underneath. So let's do the same process. And then kind of tuck it in. That is the bracket holding down the TC jack cable. And then slide this thing in. So there's a little dot here. I believe that dot indicates it's on the top, facing the top, and not the bottom. Okay, so push it in, you're all set. Close the hinge down, making sure no cables are being snapped or pressed in. Put the three screws back together. Okay, once you have done with that process, let's zoom out a little bit. And we can just do the rest by having the back cover to go back in it. I can see that the cable get clamped on. So let's tuck it in. Put it back again. Press it down. They're kind of clipped clip on so you got to press it hard enough so you can hear that little clicking sound and all the screws to go back in it and just a quick reminder uh, if you do find this video is helpful all I'm asking is just a quick uh, thumbs up for me if you can press a, a like button if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe and of course uh, I really appreciate if you want to uh, show appreciation by donating some money uh, you can click on the YouTube super tank the super tank allows you to uh, you know show appreciation to the channel okay so that's pretty much it um, that's all I have to s tell you what to do <laughs> or explain to you what what can be done by changing out the DC jack and uh, simple as seven minutes all right so hopefully this video is helpful to you and again smash the like button if you like it subscribe if you haven't and you want to show appreciation uh to the channel you can go ahead and click on the super thanks all right thanks for watching until next time take care and bye now